Hey guys, Empathy Relics here, and today I'm going to bring you five classes that I would recommend for respawn in Black Ops 3. So let's have a look at the first class, KN44, uh, with quick draw grip and stock. This is a really good assault rifle to use um, aggressively. It's great on maps like Nuketown and smaller maps, but it's also quite good on larger maps. If you like playing aggressively, but you want to use an assault rifle, this is the weapon to use. The Elkar 9 is a great um, pistol to use. It's fully auto. It's great at pulling um, pulling out in close quarter situations. That's what she said. Uh, grenade is just personal preference. I really like grenades. I'm good with them. So, you know, you don't have to use frag. That's optional. But I would recommend it. Uh, Ghost is a good perk to have um, to stay under the radar especially if you don't have an unlocks feel free to use flak jacket or six sense um, but yeah I personally prefer ghost this is more of a TDM class you can use it in Dom though if you if you're using it in Dom I would recommend flak jacket but for TDM UAV spam is quite ridiculous so ghost is a good perk one to have hardwired's very underrated I don't like using fast hands on assault rifles personally so I'd recommend using hardwired and all assault rifle classes assuming you're not using scav or tracker um, hardwired is just a great perk to have it's very useful as you can see it does a lot blast suppressor so I stay under the radar when I ping like so I don't ping on the radar when I thrust everywhere uh, which I do a lot in gunfights now especially with that weapon the Vespa best gun in the game in my opinion quick draw grip extended mags can't go wrong um, I recommend, you don't even need extended mags, it does help a lot, it allows you to get like 3 kills instead of 2 per clip, but um, if you're trying to level it up and get extended mags, I recommend maybe Blast Suppressor or something, um, since you're going to be using it in close quarter situations, Tack Mask is a must have for the Vespa in my opinion, and I don't think Blast Suppressor is necessary. If you're using the Vespa, it's going to be a small map, and you know you don't really need Blast Suppressor. Fast Hands is a must run. If you're not using Fast Hands on the Vespa, you're using it wrong. Flak Jacket, kind of a must have as well. Frag is just my personal preference, and a pistol is great to have with the Vespa, because if you run out of ammo, its reload time isn't like too great, so you can swap to the pistol and get a kill, or if you run out of ammo completely when you go on streaks, which happens to me all the time. Um, that RK5 is a great pistol to have. I personally prefer it than the over the old car for this particular class. I don't know why, but it's just personal preference. VMP with uh, quick draw and grip. Pretty standard class. This is what a lot of um, pro players use. Frag, concussion, flak, fast hands, blast suppressor, and tack mask. This is just a good all-round weapon, so if you're not doing too good, pull out this class. Um, it's kind of my go-to class. If I'm um, having a bad game or just want to go, you know, and use this class from the start, it's very good. Concussions are super strong in this game, so I do recommend using them. Quick draw grip are kind of must runs on most of the, yeah, I'd, I'd say pretty much all of the submachine guns. Grip's very useful on the VMP, especially because it does have a fair bit of kick. Quick draw, if you're not using quick draw on submachine guns, you're probably using them wrong. Uh, attack mask is very useful. Uh, cause stuns are OP as fuck in this game, fast ends is kind of a must run on some machine guns. Moving on to the XR2, reflex, quick draw and stock, pretty standard attachments, especially with the burst weapon. I've got a pistol because the XR2 sucks at close range, so the Elkar 9 is very good at close range to pull out and check corners with. Ghost, again, just personal preference, if I'm using this weapon I like to kind of stay around the um, edges of the map so that kind of involves flanking so ghost is useful to have if you don't have ghost though feel free to use another perk of your choice hardwired pretty standard i've gone through those blast suppressor don't really need to go into that um fifth class the weevil weevil's very underrated i do like this gun a lot and i do recommend using this weapon for nuketown i got quick draw grip and rapid fire um, very good for hardpoint in Nuketown, especially. The rapid fire helps out because its damage is so low, it allows you to fire a few extra bullets, and the 50 bullet clip um, helps a lot. 
Frag concussion pretty standard. They're just personal preference. Flak jacket must use and Nuketown in my opinion. Tack mask is very good and fast hands is also very good. Alright, moving on to specialists that I recommend. So um, for respawn, I do recommend Gravity Spikes, Vision Pulse, um, moving on to Scythe. Scythe is probably the best in the game. It's not my personal favorite, but it is very good um, for respawn. Um, the Ripper is very good. I don't use it personally because I run tactical, and that would mean I'd have to press Circle to Knife instead of R3, which just kind of delays my reaction time a bit. And the Purifier, I'd recommend, um, especially for the smaller maps, I think Purifier is probably the best lethal specialist in the game. Uh, and Score Streak Loadout, if you're a good player, I do recommend this loadout, it's very good. Um, you might want to chuck on a Hardened Sentry, maybe something like that. Or, if you're a lesser player, you can't really go wrong with UAV, County UAV, and then one of these kill streaks. Uh, so yeah, hopefully the score streaks do get buffed. So at this point they are pretty weak, but my personal favourites are those three or UAV. Something, something along those lines. Using those four uh, kill streaks would be what I recommend for a above average player. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want to see any more of these. I doubt I'll do any more. Um, I might do five search and destroy classes and specialists. Um, to recommend so let me know if you want to see that in the comment section and thanks for watching